Today is pretty exciting. Walk Buildings is delivering our goat barn. It's really more of a shed, but we're gonna call it a goat barn. And it's been custom built for what we need have to forgive me for wearing sunglasses. A couple nights ago I got some sort of an eye infection so who wants to look at my ugly eye? I think it'll be particularly interesting to see how they get this structure off of the truck and onto our site location.
All right, so tell us what your plan is for this new goat barn, Wendy. Okay, so Brian doesn't think we should put gravel down, but I'm really thinking that we should put gravel down first so that I can put stall mats down in here, and then we'll put hay on top of the stall mats just because I think it will make it easier to clean up and be a little less messy because it with the dirt you end up just digging down into the dirt it seems like instead of actually removing what you wanted to remove which is just the manure and hay so that's one thing and then I also want to get some a, another style of hay thing that I can have Brian mount to this and then maybe in the other stall we'll use the existing one that we have. I want to get some new hardware for hanging the the other feeding bins and stuff like that off in here and that will keep it nice and dry and out of the weather if we have it towards the back. And also when we do kitting there's a chance that I might divide one of these stalls in half if we need to, to have some dividers so that we can have mamas come in front and the babies be in the back. So that's something for way down the road though, once we've, we've got kids and need to worry about that kind of thing. They look really nice. I like I like our new barn. It's, it's quite a bit bigger than the little, um, whatever you want to call that little thing out there was, <laughs> the temporary shelter for the goats. So, I think once we get it kind of cleaned up, and right now it's really muddy in here, so I, I don't think I would want my girls to sleep down in here tonight unless I can get something to put down on the ground to make it nicer for them. <laughs> Indigo's all excited about everything that's been happening. Yep, and so then we have a room, which we haven't gone in because we're so muddy. It's got a nice door and a good wood floor. And so I'm gonna get a shelf unit to put in the back. And I'm gonna put all my goat care supplies and things like that, like their medical stuff back in there. And I want to have some feed dispensers, some larger sized ones with the gravity so that I can open the bottom and fill a bucket sized thing with them to mix my feeds in and so I'm thinking I'll get at least two in here. So that would be 200 pounds of feed mixed together. So not too bad. I don't really want to keep grain just in sacks in here because I think the mice will end up getting in here if we do that. But I think if we keep it nice and clean and neat that we won't have a problem. So it's looking pretty good. I'm excited about it. Yeah, I, I think that if we like this building after a week or so we, we might talk about ordering a structure for the rabbits and and maybe also having a structure to put our hay in something that we could enclose like this this would probably be maybe a little smaller than the size i would want for that but maybe would be it might be about right so that we could get enough hay to have for, you know, a couple months instead of, you know, a month at a time we're getting hay. So that doesn't allow us to go out and find a good deal or anything like that. But it would be nice to have a place where we Indigo, can store Indigo, don't hay. eat the key. Indigo, <laughs> bad girl. She's so curious. You're so curious. So wanna talk about the eventual deck? So what we want to have Ryan do is build a nice deck coming off of this so that the goats can just lay around on it because they, they really like laying on these pieces of wood here. So they go will continually stand on it. So um, it keeps their feet off of out of the mud and makes them a little bit more comfortable and things like that. So I think we'll have a nice size deck coming off of here. Eventually we're gonna have not these electric fences out here because this is a permanent structure. We don't need to have temporary type fencing. Um, for right now, it's been very handy because we've been able to move it around as we do different projects and things. But once we get everything a bit more how we want it and have the deck on and things like that i think the next step will be to, to 
start working on some permanent fencing. One thing I do want to consider with the permanent fencing is having the ability to kind of stall out this front area. So if we have a deck here, imagine having the ability to run a, a line of, um, I'd like it to work so that we could run a, a section of, of not hog panel, but um, cattle panel to be able to run between them. And so having the ability to have a fence that we can kind of take on and off right in this area so that we can section out this area. If we, for example, wanted to keep kids separate from adults for any reason or anything like that, especially since Indigo is a big goat <laughs> and the kids from the little Nigerians will be quite small. So I am a little worried about making sure that we can section areas off at any given point if we want and that we don't have to keep anybody just in the barn that they can come out and get some fresh air too. And we'll have this area here, we'll follow the path along to have the fencing come up to about right here. And then the plan is, is to put a gate right here and then have another deck area here that we can put my milk stand on and have it be covered by a porch and maybe have some of the sides be at least semi enclosed. So I'm, I'm kind of thinking of having part of this area enclosed and maybe a little space here partially enclosed on this wall so that this is still open here so that if we wanted to run the electric fence out here, we can let the goats come and go during certain times, but I can maybe fence in my my area here for where I'm milking goats and things like that. Then I could have probably my shelf stuff for containing my things that I need for milking and have my milk stand. And it would be really easy to have Indigo just waiting here, pull her over put her on the milk stand and call it good. I also think it would be a little bit easier to get her on and off the milk stand if I have it in a place where it's going from dirt to dry, because right now the problem she has about getting on the milk stand is she has to go onto the wet porch and she doesn't like how it feels. It feels very slippery to her. And so she gets really nervous and then doesn't want to go up the ramp, so. She's pretty particular about the rain. So I'm, I'm thinking that, that coming around here is gonna be a lot less wet even because of the trees. So this area is gonna be a really nice area for our milking area. If we make a nice strong roof, we might be able to pick cherries off of it too. <laughs> so that's another thing to consider. Although I, I, I kind of would also like to maybe have a transparent roof just to keep the light coming through. It just depends. And it goes being very funny. Are you exploring every inch? Huh, goaty goat? I do feel a little guilty about having another company build this structure for us. Even though it's quite large, it's a relatively simple design and I could have built something like this myself. We would have saved a little money doing it that way, but really, honestly, it would have taken a lot of time and frustration. Plus, I probably would have used wood on the siding rather than metal, so it might not have lasted as long as this one will. Lock buildings really did offer such a good value that we wouldn't have saved that much money by me doing it myself. So overall, I think it was a really good decision to go with having this built for us rather than me doing it myself. This infected eye is no joke. It itches 
it's very irritating but I've got some prescribed eye drops to put in it hopefully it'll clear up in about a week or so eye problems or no it's good to have the goat barn in place